Hello everybody and welcome for this solo playthrough of Advanced Squad Leader. We will be starting J242, Carriage of Cowan. I'm Robin Reeve. Uh, as you may know, and I underlined it also previously in other videos, of course, I make errors, I do my best, but I miss things. And I'm very grateful for all the comments which underline uh, some things I got wrong I try to answer uh, it's very useful because it helps me if really I miss something that uh, I should uh, I could have missed because of my ignorance of the rules etc but anyway it helps all the the people who are viewing the videos just to to notice things uh, when some elements could be corrected in the following video because the remark uh, occurred before I I recorded it, I'll do it. Uh, if an error is really important, I don't know what I'll do. Anyway, uh, you know that there is in ASL at the beginning of chapter A, the A.2 rule, which says that when you notice an error and it, you notice it, uh, let's say, uh, some time after it occurred, uh, you, you play, you go on playing. So, uh, that says a lot about a game where uh, there are so many details and things you must uh, keep in in memory um, to the point that they even explain how to manage errors so to to get on the point of what I just said uh, somebody I, I Leslie Douglas uh, pointed to me and I even di did it with the boundaries that those German squads were placed here which was out of the sector of the um, uh, yeah where they, they could be set up into so so they were badly set up up here so I shifted there here I just placed a little label to, to remember so there we are I'm running uh, this uh, this scenario this uh, VSL with now with uh, Vassal uh, 3.19 so when I m move units as you see uh, the moved uh, indication appears so there we are uh, there were some interesting remarks about the design why did the, did Andy Ro Rogers specify moist rather than wet we don't quite know why and also the question about um, why he didn't prohibit kindling so, oh, sorry, this this moved somewhere. I don't know where. I presume here, yeah, something's shifted. Um, uh, of course, with moist uh, weather, and it takes about two players' turn to, to to start. You know, you you kindle the fire during the prep fire, and the flame develops could potentially develop into um, a blaze during the advanced fire phase of the following player turn so uh, which means that the kindling guys uh, have the time during the advanced phase to to shift positions and not to get burnt uh, so it takes some time with the pressure of the Germans moving I don't know because anyway uh, the the side which has interests in making the a bonfire of the uh, of the woods uh, is the American uh, I, I didn't think of kindling at all. I just noticed, and, uh, and Leslie uh, Douglas uh, noticed it also, uh, as you know, kindling not 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 allowed usually is standard uh, mention in scenario uh, SSR. It's not there. Does it mean that an Andy Rogers expected uh, the the US player to try to? Uh, burn down let's say a woods road there if if uh, yeah i could put uh it could be an idea to have a of course you need a leader or a, a hero and you need uh a mmc to try to kindle uh, a flame and have a a blaze in one of those road hikes in the rear so you have the time but anyway uh, i i i won't be trying that tactics but it would be allowed as the there is no special rules uh, prohibiting it. Uh, I reckon I rarely, never, uh, I don't think I ever used kindling rules at all. But that's uh, that's perhaps just me. So, 
Well, 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 as they say. Um, this is the rally face, so I'm going to drag down this uh, this face marker so uh, we see it. The need to jump up and down. Uh, things are about to begin. Another detail, I don't think I underlined it, but of course there are black SS counters that I could have, could have used, but I, I don't like their aesth aesthetics. I don't find them e easy to read. Yes, really. I don't mind, uh, you know, the debate about uh, glorifying na Nazis, etc. Uh, I, I'm definitely a, an anarchist and a, a radical opponent, opponent against all extreme positions. So, uh, but I can't play with black counters because uh, they, uh, you know, the Nazis, the, the SS are like the orcs, uh, Orukai, or other monsters in uh, fantasy games for me because this is only uh, a game of counters, so I don't make fuss about it. I'm not fascinated, I'm not, you know, um, burning uh, candles in to glorify uh, the black SS or, or needing black counters. So I, I took blue ones, I think it's slightly easy to, easier to read. The only problem, which is not one, if I'm, if I pay attention to what I do, is that the, the depletion numbers of the black counters uh, are one uh, higher because of course uh, SS I by definition elite so uh, that means that uh, I could have for the sake of not uh, missing uh, that detail uh, I, I could have used um, a black counter for the uh, for the for the um, the Panzer the Jagd Panzer fear. So here is the black version. You see, it's grayish. I, I don't find it very agreeable to see. But if you compare, you see you have a S seven S eight rather than S seven H E H rather than H E seven A five A P C R five rather than A P uh, C R um, four. Th that's it. But I'll try to remember. Of course, the the Nahverteidigungswaffe, uh, which is a smoke discharger, has no difference because it's not a depletion number, and the crew survived the same. So anyway, so bye bye the black counter, and let's go for uh, for the standard blue ones. There we are. So let's go. Um, roll for the wind, of course. Nothing happens. Uh, rally face. Am I going to... Uh, no, deploying. I've done enough, I think so. Yes, yes, I had. I had enough with the German. Four units was enough. Four squads. So, prep fire. Uh, I believe that could be a good idea. Um, the tanks don't need to rush. So, this one will attempt to fire smoke along the road in Q7. So what are the DRMs? Plus one because of the button-up status and to play smoke uh, the basic to it is the area target type so it's seven but you have plus two to modify it. Let's see this together for those who are not accustomed to that. So you see you have area fire 7 and you have plus 2 which modifies the 2 hit number and not the die roll. So we have a 9 as basic or as modified 2 hit a number and plus 1 uh, because of button up. So I need an 8 to place the smoke which is quite co coincidental with the depletion number, which is eight, uh, smoke eight. Even if it's shown said seven, uh, remember we are elite. So that means that if I hit, I hit smoke is placed anyway. So let's go to hit, bang. So forget it. So uh, depleted ammo, no more smoke. There we are. I use the little functionality of depleted ammo here which is uh, rather new. Uh, perhaps this or the preceding uh, VAS VSL um, module and you see now the smoke is marked in red. So uh, when depletion number is um, 
yeah, you roll higher or exactly the number you uh, you have no more smoke and you're not no if you roll higher than depletion you don't have the uh, the ammo and you ha you are not considered to have fired uh, with the exception of malfunction uh, we escaped that by one pip so i believe that would be all so we'll have to do it really uh, huzzah okay prep fire nothing uh, remains yeah, nothing is is to be done here so movement face okay uh, I'll do some recon with the smallish uh, little uh, I'm placing it it's not it's not riding the tank and I'm just separating it so uh, my little um, my little half squad will, will rush now along the road and see what is going to bite it and what dangers are ahead so one two three that's awful that's awful okay um, and of course four he tr they attempt to enter no let me see uh, yeah four they attempt and of course there is a squad but the squad doesn't uh, doesn't do anything remains there because there are more meaty uh, components things that can happen uh, the German knows that there are no hidden units so this group will move as a stack one two yeah that's dangerous no no stop stop I'll just move the leader with Oh yes, the, the beefy squad here. I'm placing a concealment here. That's a thing you need to really to um, discipline yourself with AVSL. It means that when you split concealed uh, stacks, you must absolutely uh, place a new um, concealment counter, as in real life game. The reason is that your opponent uh, needs to to know about how many uh, counters you have in a, in a stack. Otherwise you have, you know, uh, one n concealed counter alone moving and it's not very, very clean to do that. So I said one, two, and four. And we know that we lose concealment. This time the, the, the USAans uh, won't hesitate to fire. So six flat because you have plus one TEM and minus one non-assault movement. It's not six, it's 12. Sorry, sir. 12 and eight plus one morale check. So Inzeln passes and his men are pinned. Okay, I'm going to put, I, I like. Yeah, there was some innovation uh, at some time where where the pin is really placed on the pin unit, but of course when it has weapons and etc., it's less interesting. So um, the other squad, I, it will anyway lose its concealment. One, two, and it enters the hex here at woods uh, rate, so it won't get hit as in open terrain. Four, of course the squad can final fire it could have subsequent uh, first fire against that stack stack but it wanted to still keep some yeah something under its sleeve so six flat against the the, the lone squad six and seven is a normal morale check which is failed ouch things happen and things happen and a little two residual is placed uh, on the on the in the hex okay the tank now he knows that bazookas are there but anyway uh, the, the the american won't move there this unit even if i don't know what is in it there is no support weapon so one two three uh of course uh the ah oh, yes it could yeah, yeah the bazooka could be fired because uh, it's only with its inherent firepower that the the squad fired, so he could fire the bazooka, and but uh, anyway, uh, um, 
there is no LOS between those two hex. You see here Q7 uh, blocks, uh, the, the, the wood blocks LOS. So we'll keep, uh, we keep calm, okay? Uh, here we have squads with the leader. We'll, we'll try to move a little further. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, uh, no, no. We'll stay cautious. So this stack, stack will run. They all have maximum. Yeah, hmm, that's not a good idea. Anyway. Um, Yeah, I shouldn't have given the demo chart to my leader. Too late, too late, because they one have one less uh, IPC. Well, if they run, they at least have seven, which is not too bad. So anyway, I'll suck up my bad, uh, yeah, my, my my bad decision during the rally. I cannot uh, uh, shift, uh, give the the demo chart to somebody during the the movement. Don't think so anyway. So bypass one, three because the galley is uh, no yes the stream is dry as a galley, so it would could cost two. But we have ground snow which adds a a movement point. So it's one, two, three, four. Okay. And they emerge. They go up. Four seven. So actually, uh, the demo charge doesn't create a great problem. It reduces to seven the movements, but anyway, everybody can. So up they go. Um, I'm trying to find a solution. So here, yeah, I could have done many other things anyway. Stupid am I? Um, Those are going to run. Hey, ah, yes, there we are. One bypass two five. There we are. And last but not least, the Yak Panzers. So moving up or down is not impaired. So this uh, Yak Panzer has 13, yes, because anyway it's based on a, a Panzerfeer chassis. So it's one. And how much does it cost to go into? I think it's two. Uh, I'm just looking at the table now. There we are. We have the table slightly small for you, but I'm looking at Galley because it's two and CO. T, that means three. Yeah, okay. Two T is one. So uh, one start, four, seven, ten. Anyway, thirteen, and it remains in motion. Yeah, harder to hit. Here also, one bypass two three. Six. Nine, and I spend rather than three, four to enter this hex, so that's thirteen. They're vulnerable, but anyway, they're not in a very good position to do anything else. So here they come. All the Germans have moved, so we uh, remove the residual fire and do the Americans have something to do? Yes, they could, but uh, now you see this mortar is good to hit this part of the road. This one is slightly out of LOS. Those can fire on this road, so they, they're really good protectors of the, the movement ar across that place. But I don't see any uh, final possible final fire. So we move up to defensive fire. There we are. Advancing fire face. That can be interesting. Not very powerful, but we'll do our best. So here, Inzeln. Um, his men have moved and are pinned, so they are quartered, but they are uh, doubled for point blank, blank fire. That means uh, as if they were halved. So they have three, but they have assault fire. Uh, that I forgot to give them the 44 assault fire capacity. Uh, that's a, a nice addition that you have 
uh, the, the, you don't see unbroken news. I'm going to change all the uh, during the. I, I'm pausing my 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 recording and I'll change that without you noticing too. So here we are, as you see, they all have a salt fire. Oh no, what happened here? I forgot them. There we are, a salt fire. Ah, there we are. You see, I want to prove things and I get them wrong. Oh, it's okay for everybody. So going back here, we have three, which goes up to four because of the salt fire. The machine gun would be at one and a half, so uh, useless for advancing fire uh, on the IFT. I only play with the IFT. Uh, just for the s saying things short, uh, in the 90s and beginning in the the 2000s, I, I played exclusively with the incremental. And after a moment, I realized that uh, it doesn't change a lot. There are small effects, but anyway, um, I and I realized that IFT is much more easier for me because I can easily uh, remember uh, the the main values, the main results. I don't need to go and uh, look at it as you noticed already. So that's the main reason and uh, there are also good reasons to consider that the incremental uh, IFT is not as incremental as you want and you could also try to optimize firepower in a, a debatable way. Uh, anyway, this game is not a simulation, etc. You know the debates. Uh, them, uh, there are a lot of th threads on many forums about that. We are just playing a game. So I have four plus one against the Americans. Perhaps two if they have a foxhole, but I don't know. So no effect here. Oh, I forgot to remove the, fine, uh, the defensive fire. There we are. Uh, I don't think you. I have anything else to do, so we remove the preps, the moves, route face. Yes, there is some routing here, sir. So they're moving in this hex. Okay, that'll be the only routes that you have. Uh, advanced face. Yes, there we are. Uh, here things are becoming. Let me tell you. What am I? What have I done? What the heck have I done? Ah, yes, I think I. Yeah, th those are just. Yeah, they appeared because I. You see, between. Yeah, that's it. Between assault fire and clone. Uh, that's why I, I didn't seek assault fire because I clicked with my. Um, my mouse on the control K and had two more uh, units. So, anyway. Uh, here they are. Uh, they're going to hug the German. I'll place the, the appropriate uh, counters. Uh, Inzeln will go back here to help his men. There we are. It's already always interesting to put some pressure on the enemy. Those are concealed, so they should remain concealed. There we are. And Frodish will push up here. Ah, oh, here we're coming, they're coming. Yes. Oh, so I need to put a counter here. The Panzerschreck totes moving here with the 347s. I, I consider that the, the SS can afford to be bold. So here and here. Here. And Friedman. Yeah. Those are nearly what we call bald edge creepers. At least they're trying to yes to, to get around. Uh, those little guys, I don't like them to be so close to the American, but anyway, yeah, because they'll get really a lot of defensive fire. So I'm just pushing them here anyway. So there we are. Close combat phase, there is none. I can remove the pin. And now who becomes concealed? Yes, uh, Inzel and his half squad will 
clearly become concealed and that we will be all folks there we are I'm just checking things things are well done okay so we move to the American rally face there we are and we will see how the Americans will uh, try to present uh, a fallback defense and I'm realizing that the guys here would be so much better if they were not in a foxhole but in a way they'll have to move quite certainly so I hope you, uh, you spent a nice time I hope I didn't make too many errors uh, clicking uh, in, in different ways uh, but I think it's, it's okay um, at least the Germans have crossed the river, the creek, as you call it, yeah, going along the canyon, uh, the Belgian canyon, uh, with their posse, I'm trying to Americanize everything. Ah, yes, um, I forgot, but the, the tank itself can be concealed, of course. Uh, what am I doing here? And the broken can... Oh, mustn't so I'm just removing the conceal here there we are the, yes the the tank is concealed too yeah I'm going to put a, a larger counter on it there we are so because it is in woods mm -hmm. okay well see you for the American first turn bye bye